Welcome back to the classroom. Come on in. No late pass required. Today, um, we are getting into a trailer that I didn't realize they also had come out with a couple of days before the show came out. But we're going to watch the final trailer for the Netflix live action adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. Don't know what else they're going to be able to show us here without giving too much away. Um, I know that it's a very familiar story, but I don't know if they're going to end up doing a different take on anything. Um, I'm just personally excited about this, so I'm going to jump right into it. So without further ado, Avatar The Last Airbender final trailer. Let's do it. All right, final trailer. Let's see what you got. Aang, you must master the Avatar state. Who's chat right now? <gasps> Freaking Kyoshi? Or it can save your life. Oh. Is counting on me. Am I supposed to save the world? If I don't. Suko looks good. But imagine what'll happen if you don't even try. Ooh, the sets look good. Oh, the music. Yo, okay. Wait, are they going to show it? Yo! <laughs> oh, stop, Monkey Otso. Oh, King Boomy. I do know is just the beginning. Seeing Aang smiling. Oh, it's great. Oh, all right. I'm happy I went and watched the uh I'm happy I watched that trailer because oh that was that that was a good way to kind of lead into it, I think. So we just watched the final trailer. For Avatar Last Airbender, Netflix's live action adaptation. And um, I'm really happy that I watched this prior because we got to see our first glimpse at um, Avatar Kyoshi, um, who, if you're unfamiliar with lore, <laughs> Avatar Kyoshi is an um, absolute uh, monster in the, in the best of ways, I will say. Um, she was just freaking awesome in every way, shape, or form. I loved getting to see Aang like smiling. You could see there's you know some of that goofy nature to him, which ah uh, uh, they needed to keep that because there were he was way too serious in the original live action that we saw. Um, the music sounds great. Uh, it was cool getting to see when um, Aang merged with the uh, the ocean spirit. So we got to see a little bit of that. So I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. They seem to be making a lot of the right choices here. Um, the actor that they got for Monkey Otso looks like, like, really like his, um, his cartoon, uh, or his, his um, yeah, yeah, his cartoon, uh, counterpart. Um, I almost said anime, but I know that some people don't like to call Avatar anime. Um, and I think a big part of that is because it wasn't necessarily made in Japan. Um, it has a lot of anime, um inspirations from it um but overall it i'm loving the fight scenes that we're seeing here uh they they look a lot faster they look a lot quicker which was a big issue of the first uh the first attempt at this um Sokka looks like he's holding his own which is awesome i do hope they keep kind of like him learning to be a better person we'll see if that uh stays put um you know, I'd, I'd still want to see everybody's character development, character growth. But once again, only time will tell. I'm going to be going and watching uh, the first episode here momentarily. So I'm really excited. I hope it ends up being good. But with that in mind, I would love to hear your comments on things um, before we dive headfirst into the show. Like I said, I want to be excited, but don't know if I can get super excited until I see at least an episode or two. So. Let me know if you guys are feeling the same thing. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the show so far. And if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe so you can go along with this journey alongside me. Once again, for better or for worse. Have a great rest of your day. Class, you are officially dismissed. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.